And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Dark Souls. So last time we defeated the Capra Demon, and we got his key to the depths. That is the next area for us to go. So if you do not want to do the Moonlight Butterfly, um, and you have a dex build, this last area is going to be pretty easy, uh, especially if you buy that enchantment that I bought. Um, that's going to make the area a lot easier. Um, and for dex builds, that's what I would highly encourage, is that until you get the spells that you want to. Um, to uh, buy Pine Resins. This could be your best friend on Dex character. Hello. Hi. I can see you. Huh, must not want to be your friend yet. We will have to go and change that. Be our friend or... Oops. Be our friend or die! <laughs> and uh, Vegeta311 has this awesome trick where he will run and jump off that stairwell. But what I prefer to do, if you, you just kind of like walk right here, I always aggro her. Um... Yeah, I don't. I don't find these things particularly deadly, but here she comes. And she's already forgotten about us. But a uh, hidden body has an effect very similar to an item in the game called the fog ring. I will be showing that how to get that. Um really good ring for, you know, if you prefer to be stealthy. Um, it turns down the aggro radius on enemies. And as you can see, like, right there, I walked right up to his face and he didn't even see me. Now, it's not foolproof, and same thing, if you're wearing heavy armor, enemies can still hear you. Oh, so late on my swing. Oh, well. But normally, how we'll have to fight this, uh, butcher lady... That sucked. Is you would come down here and then she and her dog will attack you in tandem. Um, she's obviously the bigger threat, but the dog's a lot faster, so take out the dog first, is my advice. Um, she can be backstabbed or parried. So that's another big piece of advice. Oh man, I meant to more 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 oh. Guys, I might have to do... No, I can't do a jump cut. Well, I can, I just don't want to. Alright, don't make the same mistake I did. Bring uh, pine, uh, the charcoal pine resin, which is fire damage. Bring that down here with you. It makes this area a lot easier. I completely forgot about that. Oh, I'm so angry. Um, so these butchers, um, they have a meat cleaver in their one hand, although you can't get that from them. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, you can't dress like them. You get their headpiece and their weapon, that's it. I don't like, well, I think I actually don't know what their pants are. Wow, you have a lot more health than I anticipated. Into the waters with you. There it is, the sack. And we'll wear that for comedic purposes. It doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, there are the stats on it. They're pretty terrible. No reason not to wear this thief mask instead of a sack. Um, Bloodstained Patrick Sack by the Undead Man-Eating Cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It is unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear but it is probably near meaningless in terms of defense. Yes, it is. You. Yes, you. Here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Nope, not helping you. It's a trap. Now, nah, this guy's actually pretty boss. Um, so we are going to roll through all the barrels. Now, do you have to destroy every barrel? Yes. Yes, you must make as much noise as freaking possible. 
And that's something that actually does make me a little upset in terms of programming, and I think that they tried to program this in, and I don't know if it's a programming error or um, what, but... Thank you. I would have been in something without you. Been in the line. I said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Lorenzius. Or the Great Swan. I will not forget my death to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. <laughs> Um, so there we get Laurentius of the Swamp, and if you read the description at the beginning, you know that that's a pyromancer. So here was the programming issue I was talking about, is that this butcher will only jump down, the one that I was waving at earlier, she will only jump down after you, um, once you reach this point over here, or if you're coming up backwards, um, for any reason. There is another area that I... Oh, this is not good. No... Why is she behaving all weird? Um, you can parry these guys, or these gals, these things. No, 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 no. Shield for days. But it's normally easier just to bait out that attack, or any attack from them, and circle around them. But yeah, you're guaranteed a sack drop after killing both of them. So if you want this awesome headgear that I'm wearing, <laughs> it's very possible. Man, if I had better armor, I'd show off some of the traps in this area a lot better. But because I don't... Up there on the ceiling, you can see a bit of slime kind of protruding. And there's an item here. So what we're going to do is walk by the item... Wait, you know what? Maybe these things are somewhat weak to magic. Yep, somewhat. Enough that I'm not going to have to worry about them as much as I thought I was going to. Um, the, sl the slimes in this area... And see, what's a terrible trick, too, is that they give you this giant room of freedom here right after having that, um that last room, but then here you can see they are just everywhere. So what we're going to do here is we are going to take advantage of our spellcasting ability. And you don't have to tag them in intervals like I am, I just, I don't know, prefer it that way. Um, I don't try to attack them on the ceiling ever. I mean, you can do it with bows. Um, that's also why that last vendor that we encountered sells some fire arrows. It's kind of a little hint that maybe you might need them. Although poison is terrible in this zone. I would not recommend poison. But there we go. We're out of spells because I wasted that first one. Test it. Oh. But as you can see, this guy's... Um, they only have, like, 150 life, so they're not invulnerable. But, we're gonna come in here. We have the Master Key, which allows us to come in here. Otherwise, you have to get the Sewer Key, which I will be showing off where that is. And you can't access a bonfire while you're summoning somebody, or if you're being invaded. So if your bonfire ever goes out on you and you're or if you're like, you know, at your bonfire managing your equipment and then it just randomly goes out and you can't access it, probably means that you're being invaded. So good thing to look out for there. I'm um, with the Dust Crown Ring, I don't think I mentioned this, but it doubles the uses of spells that you have, but halves your HP. Um can be a useful thing. I'm not a big fan of it, especially on this character that we're making now. Um, I saw something in there. Some, I'm going to call it quick inventory management. It's probably the slowest inventory management ever. Um, what do I need to do? Reinforce weapon? Reinforce armor. As much as I like this set, I don't want to upgrade it, um, because there's another set that I want to upgrade later. And, uh, I'm actually making good progress on this game. 
Um, I'm actually very happy with the progress I'm making so far. In terms of me playing it. Not in terms of Vegeta playing. <laughs> Freaking like, not speed runs this game, but he uh, makes quick work of this game. Here, you get kind of swarmed by rats, and this is, in my opinion, if you want humanity to kindle all your bonfires, this is one of the first places in the game that I think it's super easy. Although, none of these rats are freaking dropping humanity for me. 